UPS comes closer I'm going to give this battery cable a bit of oversight I made this cable by just cutting up a set of starter cables and then uh, I did something wrong, I can't remember what and I had to put it back together again and for starters it's a bit too long it needed to be back then but it doesn't need to be anymore and I don't know, these crimped connections look kind of dodgy I don't think it's showing off on camera too well but it's kind of oxidized so I'm gonna recrimp this cable just on the other side of a clamp and uh, probably cut it down to size maybe make it about 50, 60, 70 centimeters long rather than well over a meter and just gonna give this a quick check I don't think I'm gonna redo this connection maybe uh, recut the wire if that so looking at these cables it it's pretty apparent that they are of horrible, horrible quality. We can see how they've oxidized on the inside of the cable, which isn't really that big of a problem. But due to that, I have decided to clean these up quite a bit and to actually solder the cables in place after I crimp them because I wouldn't want any oxidation to occur in the crimp after it's been crimped which would increase the resistance of the connection so that's what we're gonna do got a strong soldering station for a reason there we go nice and shiny not going anywhere. Also, if you're going to do this, don't forget these. And just because these are horrible cheap clamps, I'm going to add some soldering braid between here and here to help lower the resistance of that joint there. And there we have it, our new UPS cable. This looks quite a bit fancier than the old one. I did look through these and they seem to be still fine. They are pretty much the starter cable runs through the end of this connector and the uh, Anderson cable runs to the other end, so it makes a good connection. Anyway, let's see what resistance we'll have on this cable since I do own a million meter from the solder joint on the positive side to the Anderson connector I said we were down to two point something milliohm or really down in the limit of what this meter can measure what's the three milliohms of the positive lead And the negative, we we're down in 1.29 there. Yeah, I'd say this is under 2 milliohms. Uh, this meter does only goes down to 1.29, so I'd say that's quite okay. The contact resistance in the battery clamps and the Anderson connector is probably going to be more than what you get in the cable. So I'd call this project a success. Although I should have measured it before. 
Alright, so these batteries have gotten to rest for quite a few hours now, two or three. So, let's see what we got for OCV. 13.336 on that one. And... Ah, uh, this was hard. 13.305 in the other one. Now that's a result I can be happy with. I don't think we were up in such high voltages before I did this little load thing on them. So, now's the time to hook them back up with a new cable and see what kind of runtime we get. Now there we go, isn't that fancy? The cable is just as long as it needs to be to get for the batteries. So no unnecessary losses. The last cable essentially went round one or two times like that before going to the batteries. And combined with a bad connection at the clamps, that probably didn't <laughs> help too much. I also raised the flow charge voltage on the UPS because I realised that in my ignorance I had set it way too low. Anyway, moving on from that embarrassing detail, let's see what this thing can do. So we've got APC test loaded, and let's see what kind of runtime I think it's gonna get with just the my 500 watt lamp connected. Runtime left 85 minutes. Hmm, well that's kind of reasonable. I think it ca I must have reset it. I thought it calibrated itself down to almost no runtime at all. Anyway, I'm gonna try go into the configuration mode and raise the battery constant anyway to make it uh, think it's gonna run for ages and then run a battery calibration to get it down to a realistic level. Well there we go, I set it to think it's going to run for 2 hours with 500 watt load and that's about 1 kilowatt hour out of our batteries so there's no way we're going to get that through you know, to even two new cheap car batteries Anyway, let's get going along nicely. I think we have quite a bit more voltage here than the last time we did this, but I guess we're going to find out. I'm also timing this on my phone. It could be a complete failure too. <laughs> the battery could have gotten worse, but let's hope they didn't. Anyway, gonna let this run. And I'll check back once it dies. Well, the batteries have kind of stabilized at 24.42 volts, and they are recovering a bit of voltage. They were down to 24.2 just a little while ago. So, that's more than can be said about the last time I did this. Well, there we go. We trend for about 27 minutes in calibration mode before it shut down and uh, went back to charging. It doesn't drain the batteries completely this way but I think that's an improvement over last time when it just ran for a few minutes so I'm quite happy with it I mean it's about uh, twice as long as well a bit more than twice as long as the 15 amp hour batteries run so if we do really crude math, these are equivalent to maybe 35 amp hour batteries. But I'd wager these batteries aren't as good as those AGM batteries at supplying current for a long time. So, yeah, they're not in too bad shape, I'd say. They could probably have been better cared for. I made a mistake by the way I set it up, but. Hey, this is going to translate to maybe an hour of runtime with my 
normal setup so that's all right if we take a look at the values we get out of it, you can see I just refreshed this it thinks it's 41% loaded and it's gonna run for it's gonna run for 21 minutes with a 500 watt load so that's almost an hour a bit under an hour to completely deplete the batteries with a 500 watt load and my computer uses maybe 200 watts tops so I'm happy these batteries are gonna last me at least another couple of years there we go about a 200 minutes of runtime I'm supposed to get out of these batteries with just my a normal load my computer stereo monitors and a single light running off it granted this isn't the most <laughs> energy efficient setup what what with two transformer power supplies running off it but I'm fine with 207 minutes especially considering that these are two five-year-old 55 amp hour batteries that I paid a total of 90 euros for brand new so with all the GPS is finally out of the way I took some time to clean up underneath my workbench and try and reorganize the cables a bit because it's essentially just been a bigger mess on the floor here and I'm kinda happy with the result as if a goal what I just wanted but I wanted the floor free of cables and you can see this one cable running and that's the one from the UPS to my main computer over there I didn't have a long enough UPS cable for it but I've ordered one that's gonna fit so that corner hasn't been clean in, well it hasn't been this clean since I painted the room which was a couple of years ago because it just got filled up with crap right away and I literally haven't vacuumed the underneath it since and uh, it's probably gonna get filled up again because I've got too much stuff in here probably gonna end up shoving a few LCD monitors underneath there because I'm getting tired of stumbling over them all the time so there we go everything's back in order the nice empty space has been occupied by IMAX and monitors and above all I've reconditioned my batteries which I wasn't expecting to do I had set the float voltage for these batteries to a way too low level I did this back in 2009 and I didn't ever really think about it so they've been floated at uh, about 13.2 volts which is just ridiculously low and I didn't know any better back then I'm happy that I managed to recover pretty much the full capacity of these batteries by just cycling them a couple of times and charging them up to a fairly full stage and giving them that strong shock with the 50 amp power supply so everything turned out well in the end I suppose but yeah I'm not gonna make this mistake again however having dealt with this much uh, faffing about my own UPS I've gotten a few ideas about how to make my entire workshop a bit more efficient because this setup rarely uses a lot more power than it needs to and I've ordered some things to help me improve that so we'll see if that amounts to anything until then uh, thanks for watching I suppose see you next time maybe cheerio